Hello guys, in today's video I will show you how to wire 3 PDT switch for a true bypass switching. True bypass switching is very easy to do and it's very popular in a DIY community. Also 3 PDT switches are usually included in a kits like I built before. For example, this is the Clone Centaur kit built from Guitar Electronics EU and this is PT2399 based uh, delay also from Guitar Electronics EU. If you want, you can check the videos on my channel how I built it. So I will show you how I wire those switches in my pedals. As an example, I will use my dope from Occult Pedals. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe my channel. Also, leave a thumb up and also leave a comment. What would you like to see in the next episodes? So let's start. So first of all, be sure your foot switch is oriented like this, not like this. So let's see all connections. Here you can see connection from input jack. Here you can see jumper wire, so we just need to connect those two pins. This is connection to our output jack. And then we have input to our effect board. And then output from our effect board. Also we will connect LED negative leg here and ground here. And actually I like to use this version, it has additional ground connection to input when effect is off. It works as mute for our board input. But actually how these connections works? Simply if you turn off your pedal, signal goes from input jack through jumper wire and straight to the output jack. But when you will turn pedal on, signal from input jack goes to board input, then signal with effect goes from board output to output jack. Also when we turn pedal on, LED negative leg will be connected to the ground so it will light up. When we turn off pedal ground connection will be connected to board input. Also to understand it better be sure to check my other video about switches, link in the corner. So I have my occult pedals dope and I need to connect this diode before placing PCB inside because otherwise it will be really hard. Because I need to connect one wire under the board to the DC jack. So first of all I will connect negative leg of course with resistor it's hidden in this thermotube. Also when you soldering switches be sure your temperature is not very high because you can easily damage them. But also using too low temperature will result longer soldering time so it can also damage the switch. So now I soldered positive LED leg to the positive connection of DC jack. So now I'm ready to mount this board inside. I use this board also in my Fuzz Unit 6 from Tone Charm, but actually parts are different and overall tone of this pedal is totally different. Also I would like to mention that using this PCB mounted pots it's totally awesome because you don't need to connect any additional wires inside your pedal. So yeah, now it's time to mount signal jacks, input and output. I use metal frame jack, so actually I will need to connect ground only to one of those, because second it will be connected to ground through enclosure. If you do the same be sure there's no paint between connection. When you use plastic jacks you will need to connect both grounds. So now as you see it's also a good time to solder this DC jack connections to board. Also another cool thing about PCB mounted pots is the board is kept in place so you don't need to worry that something will rattle inside your pedal. So now I'm starting to solder our true bypass connection. First I will solder this jumper wire. Now I will solder this jumper wire from this pin to board input. For now I only solder this first pin and I will leave unsoldered the second pin because I need to place the input board cable also here so then I will solder it together. So now wires from input jack and output jack. Also as you see I'm always trying to make the shortest possible connections and also always trying to keep everything neat. Because actually spaghetti I like only on a plate. <laughs> also soldering everything like this will allow you to see easily every connection without any problem. So you can better understand how this connection works. So as you see our jack connections are ready. And to remind you this is this connection and this is this connection. Totally easy. So actually we almost done, just three wires left board input, board output and ground connection through jack to foot switch. So first I will start with input and then output and then ground. Not much to say about this process right now because it's totally easy. So now I'd like to mention that you can easily use Google search to find another diagrams for true bypass wiring. Of course overall idea will be the same but actually connections can be a bit different and maybe these connections will be better for your pedal design. As you see I'm soldering now ground wire and actually I'm using only one wire through the jack. I just removed some more insulation to provide this connection. So actually right now I'm connecting last connection to our foot switch and it's our last middle pin. 
Of course, don't forget to put some solder on a jack's ground connection. So actually, as you see, it's totally easy. You can use this method to create true bypass for your pedal or to mod any other pedal. In this case, you will need to identify input and output on a board and you will be ready to do this. So yeah, pedal is ready. Just need to put those knobs and it's done. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Also leave a comment what would you like to see in the next videos and if this video was helpful for you. Also you can share this video to other guitar players you know to share this experience. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Cheers.